Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and it is time to do block 19 of Joyful Gatherings Quilt Along. So this is a very busy week for us. So hopefully our store will be full of people shopping and having fun and eating our cookies. So this will release on Thursday during our Primitive Christmas event. But we're taping them ahead of time to make sure we don't miss out. All right, so I sewed a little bit ahead on this one just because you don't need to see that four times in a row. So this little block 19 has little half inch half square triangles, half inch finished, yes, but they're still one inch while we're sewing them. So don't get all crazy, it's, it'll be fine. All right, so I have some of the block already laid out here, but I saved one of these corners to stitch so you can watch that. All right, so according to my directions here, I need to piece two of these together here. So these are gonna go right sides together. And make sure you stitch a little bit shorter than what you normally do because these are teeny tiny little pieces. So I go a smidge under two. So then this next unit has a plain one inch square with two half square triangles. All right, this one I'm going to press open. So I'll just give that a quick little finger press. And then I'm gonna add this last one here on. So don't be afraid of these. Yes, they are little but they're not really little until you actually press them. All right, so I'm just gonna press this toward that square, and then I'm gonna press these two open. Don't ask me why, that's just what I decided. It's okay. All right, so here is my block. I'm gonna stitch these two together and then I'm gonna add that one on. So right sides together, nice and even there. So it's like making four little blocks and then you put them together into one block. I'm just gonna press this toward the half square triangle. And then we are gonna add this one here on top to make little, I don't know if these would be baskets or little bear claws or something like that. All right, and I'm gonna open this last seam so it lies nice and flat. So at this point right now, I believe these should measure probably two inches, right? Yep, so right at two inches there. And if you're a little shy, you do have two extra half square triangles with this one, so those are just little bonuses, set those aside. So there we go. Now it's time just to sew this like a nine patch. And when you do this, remember this pieced unit is pieced unit. So when you have a square that you're sewing to this, your, your square is perfect. So I always refer to the square when I'm sewing then, because that is perfect, where your patchwork block is not. At least mine aren't. And if you can do them perfect, hey, more power to you. two together.
Okay, so we're gonna go that one to the center, these to the outside, and then this one to the center. Moving Uncle Buck's basket there, my little quilt seeds. To the center. <laughs> we got these little stress balls in our uh, little motor box. We can use them as pin cushions. All right, I'm just nesting those two seams in there. Repeat on this side. Let's check it out. It looks perfect. Okay. Press those last two seams open. my seam up. Lots of tiny seams in this block. All right, so let's see what she looks like. Give her a little trim. So it's just about cleaning up the strings on the edge here. Sounded like too much. <laughs> All right, one more. Okay, I just like to use my mat five inches. All right, there we go. Another block in the books and ready for the next one. There's only gonna be one this week, so stay tuned for next week where we will be doing 20 and 21.